Hi everyone, Uncle Jesse here. Today I want to do another resin basics video and this time I want to talk with you about dyes that you can use for your resins to give you a variety of different colors that you just can't find out in the marketplace. Unlike FDM 3D printing where there is just a plethora of different shades of colors, you're really limited to what you can work with on the resin side. But this is where you have these inks that work with the resin that you can print with. This is going to allow you to tint or dye the resin that you're printing with, which will give you a greater shade of colors that you can work with for your projects. So in today's video, I'm going to give you an overview of some of the things that I'm printing and using with these resin dyes and how you can incorporate it into the projects that you're working with. When it comes to tinting your resin, you're going to want to make sure you pick up a set of pigments that are going to actually work with resin for 3D printing. This is a set of 12 different colors of the rainbow that I picked up in a set off of Amazon. I think it was about $14. And this set should in theory last me quite a while since you're only going to need a handful of drops to really alter the color of the resin that you're working with. And one of the go-to starting points for this is going to be using this with clear resin. So here is a print that I've done of Nico Industries. This is the Sub-Zero mask from the upcoming Mortal Kombat movie that's gonna be streaming on HBO Max. Really looking forward to that. But this was clear resin that I tinted a shade of blue by just adding a few drops of the blue pigment into the translucent clear resin from Elgu. I ended up mixing it directly in the container because I knew I was gonna need a good amount of it for this particular print. And and I wanted some leftover for another upcoming project. When you add your dye to the resin, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you shake it extremely well so that it's thoroughly mixed within the container. What's great is that I'm not getting any streaking or color deviation within this print, and it was a really big, long print that maximized pretty much the full build volume of the Elgu Saturn. Another really cool print that I've recently done is this Wexter Godzilla bust. I ended up using this white Ciratec resin here. This is the only white resin that I had on hand and decided that I was gonna try getting this green aqua looking color to it. And I did that by mixing multiple different colors. I mixed two different greens along with the blue. So again, there's another option for you, mixing your white resin with these tints to give you a different color variation. Also, if you follow me on TikTok, you probably saw me posting about these tinted batarangs. These are kryptonite batarangs that I'm working on for a project for next week talking more specifically about how we can clean up and get the best results from clear or our translucent resins here. But I was able to get this great vibrant green looking resin by mixing it with Ciratex neon yellowish green fast resin with some of these pigments. And what I'd like to do with you all right now is do a little bit of an experiment by mixing Elgu's skin resin with a few of these different pigments. Photos Mint has just released this amazingly detailed vision bust, and I want to get that sort of reddish, pinkish tone that you have with vision skin and see if I can somewhat replicate that by dyeing the skin tone resin here a deeper shade of red. So I'm going to do that by mixing in some of the red, potentially some purple, and this is also peach red. So I'm not entirely sure what the combination is gonna be and I'm gonna play around with this a little bit by using these plastic mixing cups. You can pick these up at Walmart or grocery stores and they're just great for little projects like this where I need something small that I can test out mixing some of this resin with some of these dyes to play around with the coloring. So here's where we're at with mixing in some dyes with this skin tone resin. So I've mixed in some red, some peach red and purple inks into this resin to get this combination here that I'm pretty happy with so far. I'm going to pour this directly back into the bottle, then mix it back up together, see what it looks like, and then proceed to add some more drops of ink back to it to try and get as close as I can back to this before we start up our print.
And 10 hours later, here is our Vision Bust by Photos Mint. So we're gonna use some of the resin dyes to alter the color of the Elgu Skin resin to give it a little bit more of a reddish purple just a darker shade of uh, pink there. And I think this turned out amazing. The detail on this print is absolutely stunning. And in fact, uh, I've had to re-record this a few times because my camera keeps auto-focusing on Vision's face thinking it's an actual person <laughs> instead of my face. I also went off and printed the base that comes with the print as well. I printed this on the Elgu Neptune 2 in some of the Prusa, I think this is galaxy purple or it's some really beautiful purple shade that I ended up picking up. And the bus slides right on top of the base for displaying. So the one thing that Vision is missing is his Mind Stone. I ended up printing it on the Elgu Mars 2 Pro with translucent resin, but I tinted it with some of the yellow dye. I think it has that really nice clear look to it that I was going for. And in fact, I have a whole pre-cut in the actual head and in the bottom of this so that I can eventually wire this with an LED. I did also wanna take a minute to say thank you to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. The Elgu Mars and the Elgu Saturn are two fantastic resin 3D printers. And if you're interested in picking up some of the resin that I used in today's video, you will find links down below along with some of the inks that I use to transform these two different translucent as well as the skin resins into what we're seeing here on the table. I also wanted to mention a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters. I couldn't do this without your continued support and thank you, thank you, thank you. You'll find links down below to more info on my Patreon. So if you're interested in playing around with coming up with your own resin colors, I would really recommend trying out some of these inks and testing out mixing and matching those to come up with your own color combinations for your next set of projects. Again, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think about these prints and if you would consider using some of those dyes or if you have any other tips that I should check out with this as well. Hey, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.